Hi, I'm Tori Mayer. Oh, God. Hang on, guys. Wait, can we pause this just one yeah, second? So say... Hi, my name's Tori Mayer, and I just opened Tori Brook Salon, and I wanted to give you guys some insight on my journey. So starting right out of school doing booth rent was really, um, it was overwhelming, it was exciting, it was scary. I, I feel like I grew a lot as a stylist, kind of being pushed out on my own. I learned a lot, I worked super long hours, I worked late a lot. I don't know, it was a really good experience for me. I got the call and it was one of my clients and she's a commercial real estate agent and she asked me if I'd be interested in ever opening my own salon. And it's definitely something I thought was just a dream that I couldn't achieve. And when I came to check out the space just for fun, I walked out and I just knew I wanted to do it. I wanted to make it work no matter what. I had a vision as soon as I saw this place. I knew the layout of it in my head hasn't changed at all since the day I walked in and saw the space. This used to be a floral uh, floral store, and so we've built shelving, um, we've scraped the ceilings. So this room is going to have clothing and accessories. Um, my mother-in-law actually owned a boutique for a few years, so this space is going to be for her. I'm gonna have a waiting area right here, and clients will be able to sit here and we'll have chairs, a rug, and then we'll have a coffee bar in this built-in. So this room looks really terrible right now, but it's gonna be magical. So this whole wall we're wrapping in um, metal and it's gonna go to the back corner. My husband framed in this um, for the spa room and it's actually a pretty decent sized spa room. This looks awesome, I haven't seen the flooring. So I did the ceiling in um, coffee bags my friend had the coffee bags and she has um, them hanging on one wall of her house and I thought it would look cool on the ceiling. And it turned out really nice. So that's it. <laughs> I had a lot of help from my family. Just support was huge for me. I felt like I was crazy. I haven't been out of school a whole long time. I haven't been doing hair for, you know, 20 years. I didn't ever think this was possible and I, contacted Eric Fisher and asked him, you know, if he thought I was crazy and he didn't think I was crazy and he was super supportive, which was awesome. Honestly, feeling that support made me feel confident too. And I didn't even want to talk to anybody who wasn't supportive of it at that time. I went back on all my Prosper U. Um, you know, my staff, we all really go back to it. And every one of the stylists here at this point has gone to Eric Fisher Academy and we all know Prosper You and, you know, greeting our clients and our values and everything. I feel like it's super important to maintain a professional relationship with your clients as well and that's definitely helped. So I had so much fun picking out the decor. I had a vision in mind of what I wanted. Um, one of my favorite uh, states is Oregon and when I go to Oregon, I just love to go in all the little stores and shops and even some of the salons I've been into and I love the style there. It's a totally different feel and so that's that's where my heart is, is in that kind of decor and I love to decorate. We wanted a really fun woodsy feel. We mixed woods all in here. We did a palette wall. Uh, in the stylist section and then in the spa room. That was, I was really excited about those. I've known Tori for a long time and I fell in love with her the first day I met her and I'm really glad that everything's come back around and we're together again in this beautiful space. The spa is beautiful, it's really homey and the decorating is awesome. The salon looks amazing. This is a hundred year old home and honestly you feel that when you come in because there's just such great vibes. The place is beautiful and it really, really feels like Tori. The space is amazing, it feels like home, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. I am really proud of Tori and what she's accomplished. Seeing this all come together has just been incredible. 
and I'm so happy for her. Tori is really going to provide a really great space for people to come and make them leave here feeling beautiful. So, <laughs> and that's all I got. The open house was a huge success. It was super fun. Um, we had a really good turnout. We, I had way bigger turnout than I was expecting. Um, I think I feel like I couldn't even move on with salon progress until I had that open house done because I just had so much to do and I just wanted to get that done and I'm happy I didn't rush through the night. I really enjoyed it. We stayed up till 3 a.m. It was a blast. We had people sliding on the floor. Um, we pulled all the salon chairs around in a circle and hung out and we played games and we danced and sang. It was it was a blast. We had a really, really good turnout and I felt magical. It was probably one of the best feelings. It was an awesome feeling. I I don't know, I felt like it was better than my birthday, but not as good as Christmas. It was just perfect. It was awesome. So we've been open a year. I feel like the most rewarding thing in the past year of being open would be seeing how much our clients love the salon as much as I do. And it's been super challenging, but it's been a really great experience too. It's helped me grow as a person. But really my greatest challenge has been maintaining a work life and a family life. It's been hard working a lot and doing school homework with my kids, but I have a really supportive family who's helped me along and my husband's been really supportive as well. I decided to enter into Naha back when I was even designing the space. I had looked up previous years Naha winners and finalists and their salons were beautiful and I just thought this salon was so different and beautiful in itself that maybe being underdogs we'd have a chance. Leaving a birthday brunch, I was driving home. My best friend was on the phone who was also the photographer. She told me that we were finalists and I pulled over. I was screaming, I was so excited. It just felt really surreal. We all came back up to the salon and celebrated, and I'm so excited. My plans for the future are still the same. I would like to just keep growing my team and keep growing a steady foundation here. Eventually, I would like to open a salon in another state, maybe my dream state like Oregon, keep learning, and hopefully, hopefully one day have another salon in another state. If I could go back in time and tell myself one thing a year ago, it would be everything works out. All the little stuff that I've stressed over always ends up working out in the end. Not to sweat the small stuff because it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing this one year journey with me. I hope that if you're ever in Wichita that you stop in the salon because it truly is magical and I believe that you'll love it as much as me and my staff is super awesome anyhow, so thanks. <laughs> was that good? Yeah. All right, cool. Yes.